the JAMA Network. One of the most important new understandings of chronic pain and chronic low back pain is that the mind plays a very important part. Dr. Daniel Cherkin from Group Health Research Institute in Seattle and co-authors study two mind-body therapies. One is already shown to be effective for treating depression and other chronic conditions. Cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, is a therapy that tries to address what are the behaviors that we do because of pain, and what are the behaviors that might actually help to um, alleviate pain versus help to actually create or keep pain going. How do I gradually get back to those activities that I've given up because of pain? The other, mindfulness-based stress reduction, has not been well studied. So you're bringing an atmosphere of friendliness and kindness to observing your experience just as it is. One of the things that I think mindfulness empowers people to recognize is that everything's always in a state of change. Breathing in, I'm aware, I'm feeling this sensation. It's uncomfortable. Breathing out, I meet myself with compassion, friendliness, uh, openness. 342 patients between 20 and 70 years old with back pain that had lasted for at least three months participated in eight weekly two-hour sessions of either mindfulness or cognitive therapy. A third group received usual care. Outcomes were assessed at six months and one year. Cognitive behavioral therapy and mindfulness-based stress reduction led to an increased likelihood of having clinically meaningful improvement in back pain than those who were only receiving usual care. The study appears in JAMA. Journal of the American Medical Association. Benefits in decreased pain and improved function lasted for a full year, which is uh, not common amongst most treatments for chronic pain. It's something that can add to their toolbox for things that they do in different various times. I think it empowers people with the skills to make choices and changes that enhance their well-being, reduce their pain, and increase their function. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.